Boys and girls, it's your boy Young King Cookson. Welcome back to the Young King Cookson YouTube channel. Today I'm back on the tear maker list. I don't even know if um, that's still relevant, but I wanted to do it. Um, I asked on Instagram you guys to send in some AFL cult figures for me. So um, we've got a list. I've probably missed a whole heap, but um, yeah, these are the ones that I came up with. Uh, mostly, I'm really. I've, Basically avoided modern day players, except for, for a few that, you know, have a spot in my heart. Yeah, probably missed a few. Let me know in the comments who I've missed, but um, let's crack on, eh? We were here over on Tear Maker. These are the guys I've got. Um, let's crack on. All right, so we've got a tear just for his own. We've got a tear just for Brownie's own. God tear. Pretty self-explanatory. We love Callum Brown. That's his own tear. God tear, that's, you know, that's purely for Brownie. No one else gets to sit on God tier. Grian and Zaki Butters are the goats. So these are our modern day boys. They're the goats, come on. Young boys, if I could choose any three AFL players to go out, have a few beers with, these are my three boys. They're my boys, I tell you, my boys. Um, who else we got? Um, we got Godra. Now, I actually haven't seen too much of Tony Modra and I haven't uh, like heard too much of him talk so I don't really know his personality I know obviously he was a goal freak but um, yeah I wouldn't have thought to put him in like obviously yeah it's fair call but um, people a lot of people were writing Godra Godra so I was like well be rude not to but um, I know he's a freak at goals but I don't know his personality so I'll sit him at C um, the Spang oh yeah and this is, has nothing to do with the player's footballing ability by the way so um, yeah even though I just said I put Godra in C because he was a goal freak. That, that sort of, you know, pretty, pretty, I don't know, pretty cult figure if he kicked some pretty freaky goals. Um, Benny Cuz, absolute gun, but yeah, as I said, we're not taking into account um, footballing ability. Uh, I think purely because this is the, you know, the Young King Cookson channel is a drug free channel and um, we don't endorse any sort of uh, behavior like that, so. Benny Cuz, purely on that. Look, I loved him as a player. He was one of my favourites growing up, but F. Just because we don't endorse drugs here. We're not We're not about that. So, um, it's, it's a shame. Um, Relton Roberts. Relton. Now, I don't know too much about Relton's career either, but I know that he's a big boy, and me being a big boy, he gets more points, because, you know, doing it with a bit of a bit of a gut out there in the footy field is impressive. Oh, I should have had Stewie Jew in this list. But um, he's not here, but Relton's doing it for the big boys, and I'll sit him B tier, B tier. Um, Ivan Marich, he's got the mullet, but other than that, does he really bring that much cult figureness to the table? Like, he's got the mullet, and it was like, oh, the big boy with the mullet. And when he had the mullet, he was probably one of the, the only guys running around with the mullet, so it was, he brought it back a little bit. So I guess he gets points for that, but actually, I'm going to have Godra down one. He's probably up one, but I'm going to have him down one because I don't know really much about him personally. Uh, marriage, purely because he basically was one of the guys that bought back the mullet, he'll get C points. Um, Swanee. Now, Swanee, when Swanee was playing again, oh, oh, look at his rig there, he looks pretty tidy, but um, he was one of the guys, you know, a little bit heavier, didn't really have the body of an AFL player, didn't take his career too seriously, but, you know, had all Australians, Brownlows, a premiership, um, so yeah, credit to him for, you know, being a bit of a piss taker and getting it done. Uh, these days, I don't know, he's really, he really sticks to his character these days, doesn't he? He really tries to push the point that he's a bit of a loose unit. Uh, he's getting some good coin from sports bets, so you know, that's fair, you got to secure the bag. Um, but Swanee, I reckon Relton, B, he'll get a B. Dennis Armfield. Now, Dennis Armfield, I hate could not stand Dennis Armfield purely because I went to a Carlton game once when I was younger, a Carlton Roos game, and this guy just did not, oh, well done, Dennis Armfield. Oh, you're a star, Dennis Armfield. Rotten Dennis Armfield. It was just, oh, fucking hell. Shut the fuck up. But, um, Dennis, yeah, so, oh, towards the end of, like, after that, I grew up and watched Dennis, and like, oh, he's quick as, he's weird haircut, got the mo. Bit of a weird, like, not a, your stereotypical footballer, but, um, yeah, oh, I'll sit in D. 
Plugger Lockett. The all-time leading goal kicker for the AFL. Another big boy. He gets B. Big boy for Big Batty. Big Batty bad man. Um, so yeah, Plugger. He can sit there. Fev. Fev is S tier. I love Fev so, so very much. I love Brendan Favola. I like him now. He's mellowed out a little bit. Um, but I liked him as a player. I, he's another one I would love to have get on the beers with Fev. Uh, obviously, he was a superstar. Could do freaky things with the footy. Um, if you're a young kid and you didn't watch Fev play, this is probably what people that are older than me would say about Godra. They're probably like, oh, mate, watch some Godra highlights. Watch Fev highlights. Fev... Fev was sick. Fev did some sick things. You know, he went with the dreadies for a bit. He put on kegs, uh, loved beers, you know. Um, obviously, that he had those famous moments at the brown low. I, I love everything about him. Steven Seagal! Steven Seagal! Love Fev. And he's a Melbourne United fan. I've seen him in a few games, so get around him. Um, Mitchie Morton. <laughs> I was throwing up whether Chuck Mitch... I, was, I wanted to semi get Mitch and Kale in at the same bracket. Um, Mitchie Morton, didn't, I don't really know too much about Mitchie Morton, obviously he had that, um, you know, freak 2012 grand final, I think it was, with the Swans, where he, I think he came on as the sub, after Mumford was injured or something, um, I can't really remember, but yeah, he played really well, kicked a few goals, and he had to retire because um, he'd get too anxious before games, like, I think that's what Middle was telling me, yeah, he'd throw up before games, and just not sustainable for young Mitch, but yeah, Mitch can go, yeah, you really, don't really know too much about him. Kappa! I think I'm one of the only, like, I, I, th I find him funny, but like, whereas, I find Fev funny as well, but I'd like to hang out with Fev. I don't know if I'd want to spend time with Kappa. Funny to watch from afar, but I don't, I don't know how long you could bear him. Um, hilarious, hilarious, but full of himself, and yeah, I've heard some stories about him doing <laughs> multiple drugs before him playing a game. So, again, we don't endorse drugs on the Young King Cookson channel. Um, so, he's going to have to cop an F. That's a shame. It's a shame. I don't. We don't endorse drugs here. So, that's a shame. Oh, G-Train. G-Train's an A. I was scared yet loved him that much. Fraser Garrick. Oh, man. Um, shout out to Matty Trez. Felt, uh, a Saners man. Loves the G train. Uh, yeah, he's an A. Um, got like the bench press record or something in the AFL. Uh, mean mugger. Don't, not so sure about when he retired and came back from um, yeah retirement to play again. He struggled a little bit, but yeah, I've, I've seen him you know kick bags at ten and do some loose stuff. Big G train. So A A tier is only fair for him. I would have thought. Uh, Zach Dawson. Zach Dawson just really copped it. Cult figures for being shit. Everyone just thought he was shit house. Um, I actually don't think he's too bad. I don't know. Does he still play now? I don't know. I didn't think he was too bad. Like he, he was always in good sides. So I don't know. But he just copped it for being shit. Um, but yeah, I don't really care about Zach too much. He's Mitch Morton territory. Kyle Reamers. Kyle Reamers. Kyle Reamers known for kicking seven goals in a quarter. I think it was seven goals in a quarter. Middlebar will correct me on that, I'm sure. Seven goals in a quarter against the Suns when they bagged like the, it was like a hundred to three or something at quarter time. Um, he also was known for that shit tattoo. Um, dobbing in all the boys in the Sada thing, I'm pretty sure. And a new pair of fluoro boots <laughs> every week. Um, Reamers. Oh, he was a bit of an annoying prick on the field, if I'm honest. He was just a bit shit. Uh, Dennis Armfield territory, I reckon. Um, who else have we got? Push up! Push up! Jake the push up king. He was a little rat, wasn't he? Little rat. Um, yeah, I reckon he he's a B, I reckon. Push up. Obviously, he's got a lot better rig than the other bloke sitting in B ter territory, but um, yeah, he was, I don't know. I don't know how to sum up the push-up king. Um, liked to scrap, didn't care how big someone was, so I guess he's in there, so all the bigger boys, he'll fight him because he's not scared of how big you are. So um, I think that makes sense. Kepler Bradley, I don't know if anyone's seen the photo of Kepler Bradley these days, but he's looking a bit like me. Put on several kegs. Um, fair play to you, Kepler. Uh, he's probably Ivan territory. I like I like what Kepler brought to the table. Um, 
he was known as well for being shit, but his name's Kepler. So it's like, Jacko Jackson. Oh, he's S. He's S with Fev. Mark Jacko Jackson. His song gets him S. I'm an individual, an inter-bloody individual. Oh, and his, his performance on um, Open Mic. Um, I don't like your mic. I don't like your mic. Um, yeah, Mike Jacko Jackson, hilarious. Yeah, I love him. S tier. Oh, I don't know if I'd like to spend as much time with him as I would Fev. Maybe A tier, actually. Yeah, I reckon A tier. Because Fev, I love Fev. I love Fev. Um, Clive Waterhouse. He got cult figure status purely for being a number one pick and being shit, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% sure, but was he drafted in Frio's first ever draft, like when they got the pick coming into the competition? I'm not too sure. Um, he's E territory, for sure. Joshy Bootsma. Joshy Bootsma. Did his career end because he was sending nudes to people or something? So, like, sending nudes, I don't think that's too bad of a thing, but was it to underage girls? Because if it was to underage girls, which I think it might have been, I don't want to... Allegedly. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. If it was to underage girls, Joshy Boots, you know, F. Because we don't support that sort of behaviour. Drugs and nonsense. Don't support it on the Young King Cooks and YouTube channel. So, um, yeah, you'll have to take a seat. Stiffy John Cock. Stiffy John Cock, great player. Um, bit of a funny face and a funny name. So, I guess that's why he gets cult status. Um, he was a good player, though. Yeah, good player. Um, I'll give him C tier, probably. C tier. Don't have a bad word to say about him, but um, other than his name and <laughs> his funny face, I don't know there's too much about him, to be honest. Um, Brucey Duel. Never watched a second of Brucey Duel play. Uh, his wife was a teacher at my primary school before I moved up to Geelong in Melbourne. Shouts out Watsonia North, if anyone goes to Watsonia North Primary. Get around it. Um, shout out Miss Duel if you're still going around. I, I don't know. You, that's yeah. <laughs> Move on. Um, Brucey Duel. Yeah, don't know too much about him. Obviously, got the ball on top, the long down under the headband. Pretty iconic. Um, I think they called him the Flying Doormat. Uh, yeah, he gets a C, Brucey. And Spang. Jesus Christ himself, Maddie Spanger. Well, hey, um, yeah, Spang. I don't know about Spang. Probably give him a C flicker as well. Um, how do we feel about this? So running through, Cal Brown is the god of AFL football. Um, if you don't like Cal Brown, you're not welcome on this channel. So we love Cal and Brown. We love Callum Brown. Uh, the Goats, Grian and Zachy Butters. These are the three youngsters that are leading the good bloke, piss take, just good fellas uh, movement of the AFL. Great, great lads. Uh, Fev, S tier, because Fev is a legend, absolute legend. I'd have Fev at my house for a few cold ones any day. Fraze and Jacko Jackson. <laughs> Weird unit. <laughs> G train a mean mugger. Jacko thought he was a mean mugger. Um, bit of a piss taker. The big boys and push up. Because um, push up's not as afraid of the big boys. <laughs> oh, look at him. Swanee's not even a big boy. Like, he copped it. He's just got a weird body type. He'd waddle around. Um, but yeah, and these days he's thin as. But yeah, when he played. He actually didn't have, like, much fat on him. It's just, for an AFL player, he didn't really look the type. Um, yeah. One last look. Yeah, I'm pretty content with that. Um, yeah, obviously... <laughs> uh, yeah, comment down below if I've missed some crucial cult figures. I know I would have. Um, but yeah, it's not on their footballing ability, so don't tell me... Like, people were saying Ablett, and I'm like, Gary Ablett, is he cult figure? I don't know, Gary Ablett Senior, maybe. But Junior, he was just a gun. Um, Juddy, nothing cult figure about Juddy, just a gun. Um, Herd Voss, just guns. So, yeah, Wayne Carey, just a gun. Um, I don't really feel as though there's too much cult figure about him. Um, but, yeah, 
yeah, let me know who I missed. Uh, like the video, sub if you don't hate my face. Um, which, you know, fair enough if you do hate it and you don't want to sub and you want to dislike and never see me again. Um, that's fair enough. I won't won't hold that against you. Um, see you, boys. Bye. And girls, bye. Uh, very equal channel here. Bye. Gender equality. Bye.